warning. Listening to this show may result in increased levels of inspiration, motivation, and innovation. Side effects can include the immediate urge to take massive action to build a better business and life for yourself and others. You've been warned. Welcome to Influencers Radio with your host, Jack Mize. Welcome back to Influencers Radio. Uh, Today, I'm going to be talking about something that I get a lot of feedback on. People really, really um, enjoy, and and I seem to get people that make changes because of shows when I when I do shows on health, nutrition, life changing, um, you know, the things that, that that people are working towards all the time, striving, struggling, that challenges we really all face, and that's keeping in shape, being healthy so that we can enjoy the the successes that we uh, work so hard for. And a lot of the feedback that I get are from women. So I don't want you to think that, hey, I'm picking on women, telling women they got to change the way they look, because I don't think that. Um, I'm very much, I, I think w- women are, are beautiful in all shapes and sizes. And as long as they're healthy, happy, that's what makes a woman beautiful. But today, um, I had to bring on this guest because when I met her, um, this woman just really fascinated me because yes, she gets women in shape. When I saw the results of what she, she, uh, with, with the women that she works with in her uh, fitness business, I thought, wow, this is really spectacular. Not because these are women that are elite athletes that she's training people to go win the Olympics. She's taking women who have like many people been spinning their wheels for years and years and years, bouncing back and forth, um, you know, to yo-yo diets, trying this fad, trying that fad, trying this, this packaged meal with the promises of losing weight. And maybe that promise came true. They lost the weight only to get it back. And, and one of the things that I felt was really remarkable and really makes my guest today an influencer is the fact that she has the unenviable task of working with women who come to her and seem to be in the position that everything else has failed. I've got to make this work. And she takes that task on with pride and with success that uh, just really, really was remarkable to me. And today my guest is... Asia Davis. And that's exactly what she does. She helps these women to get off of that, 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 uh, hamster wheel of back and forth because she doesn't just focus on the exercises, on the physical. She runs the number one fitness studio for women in Brooklyn, New York, which is the new body elite studio. And The fact that she does work on the mental side rather than just the physical side makes so much difference. And it is, to me, the game changer between going to a gym and going to someone like Asia. So with that, Asia, welcome to Influencers Radio. Thank you. Thank you. It's really great to be here. Well, I got to say, the... Seeing the women that, that, that you've worked with, seeing their experiences, seeing their results, and not just in a physical sense, but it seems like you can tell that they've changed as, as people with, with the success that they've had, that they've tried so long and, um, and have really had problems with before, is what I think makes you a true influencer. It really is remarkable. So let's start with that. Uh, because like I said, and we talked about, you're not training elite athletes, people that are naturally gifted or naturally inclined to to be in shape and, and have those bodies. But you're working with people that we see every day that struggle with this, uh, sometimes publicly, sometimes silently. And when they come to you, they are not all that optimistic when when they they come to you. So so talk about that. What tell me what the the, the, the people that you work with, what are they like? What are they going through and struggling with when they first come to see you? Well, the people who come to who come to our studio, they've been, um, you know, trying to lose weight for some time, or they've tried everything out there, whether it's you know Weight Watchers or Jimmy Craig's or 
you know, whatever, you know, fad is kind of the new, the new thing that's on the, on the TV or that they run in the magazine or like the grapefruit diet, you know, and they're kind of, you know, they're, they're basically set up, you know, it's, it's at the, they're at the end of the road. They don't know what else to do. And that, those are the women that I work with, you know, people who are committed, but just don't really know what the next best step is to get the goals that to get the results that they want. And that seems to be a big problem in our society is because you have people that are committed. They are just tell me what to do and I will do it. But unfortunately, they're bombarded with all these different things. Eat this. No, don't eat that. You know, do this. No, don't do that. And that's where I think you could just get ground down and frustrated when you're willing, you are committed to do this, but it changes uh, every day. And also it seems that either the, 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 the answers, the easy answers that are sold to them is, you know, just eat this one thing and you'll be all right, or just don't eat this one thing and you'll be all right. Or it's focused almost exclusively on do this exercise and do this exercise and you'll be ready for the beach in, in, uh, in four weeks. Right. And that's just not the yeah. case, is it? No, no. You know, most, most women have trouble losing weight or getting in shape for, for three main reasons. One of them is not knowing what to eat and how to eat properly. I mean, that's basic. And, you know, a lot of things can tell you kind of what to eat, but really people just don't know, you know, so much information out there. It's like, well, what do I do? Number two is not being held accountable to their workouts or working out properly. So, you know, a lot of times I'll meet people who, who are like, yes, I've been going to the gym and I'm just not seeing any results. And, I'm, and I get it because once, if you don't know what to do at the gym, it's a waste of time. And even if you are like, you know, all right, I'm going to go do this program and, you know, whether it's uh you know, in-home workout program or even working out with a friend, you know, that accountability only goes so far. So not being held accountable to the workouts or, or working out properly is the second biggest problem. But really, the main problem is that women don't have the right mindset to take them to the finish line. And that mindset shift that comes with knowing how to put yourself first and learning to put yourself first as a woman is really the key to weight loss. You know, when people come to work with me, they're going to get, you know, the exercise and nutrition. But to be honest with you, what, what really needs to change is their mindsets about what's important to them. Because, I, you know, I talk to women every single day, and the biggest thing is, like, you know, I put, I put my – my husband or my, my spouse first, I put my kids first, I put, the, I put the, the job first, I put everybody else's needs come before my own or before the women that I'm speaking to. And what ends up happening is when you do that, you suddenly look down at yourself and you're 20 pounds overweight, you don't feel good, you don't have energy to go play with your kids, you know, you can't go out and do the things that you want to do and looking, you don't feel like you look good in your clothes anymore. And really being able to to tap into what that really means for who you are and what your life looks like is really powerful. And being able to make that shift from, okay, yes, I'm responsible for all these things and all these people. But when I'm able to to get out of the back seat, so to speak, to get and put myself in the driver's seat and make myself a priority, I'm so much better for everybody else in my life. And when you can make that shift, when you can, can you know, see that and, and change that value system, you really, you're, you're capable of anything. And that's one of the most important things that I, I teach women how to do is, you know, making that shift from, from being in the backseat, being the last one to, to be worried about, so to speak. Because when people do that, I'm like, I truly believe in you. When you exercise and you eat right and you can put yourself first in that way, everything else in your life gets better. And you become a better, bigger container for all those things and all those people and all those responsibilities that you have to take care of. And 
a really great result of that is that you lose weight, you look good, you feel good, you have more energy, and yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you something that I got out of this, and I don't know if you've ever seen it in this this angle before, but but in in watching the the uh, the videos of the people you worked with that are on your website, um, you know, learning about your philosophy around this, it seems like the difference in what you do with with people is instead of them learning the what foods they need to eat and what exercises they need to do to lose weight. What they really get out of working with you is learning how to be the person that is willing to commit to eating the things and doing the exercises that gets them where they need to go. And that's a very, very important and life-changing distinction because what people get caught up in this, in this, you know, this roller coaster, a back and forth and, and you say spinning their wheels, it seems like because they've been told eat this and do this exercise and they may do it for a while, but it's, they seem to have a finite uh, time period on it. Uh, I'm going to do this so I can be ready for the beach this summer. And then what? Right. And so they, all they did was just learn the tactics of what to do. But it seems like you work with them to change who, you know, be, become the person that will naturally do those things because it's the right thing to do for their health, for their family, for th- their business, even because it yeah. makes them a better person. Uh, to, to do this. So that's what, what's really, really fascinating. You know, we talked about, you know, when people come to you and they go to the gym or they don't know it to the gym and you think about how many people I, I know in my lifetime, I've probably, you know, I've been on my fifth gym that I never went to. Right. And, okay. and, and you know, people, they make that commitment that I'm going to join the gym, but then that commitment kind of ends after, uh, after that. And there's a lot of, People that I know, and I hate to, you know, I don't want to stereotype women, but feel that, and I've heard this straight to my ears. Well, I, I'll join a gym, but first I need to, I need to lose a little weight and get into shape before I start going to the gym. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I definitely get that, and um, it's, it's absolutely, it's not true, and it's so unfortunate that that people feel that way because, you know, it's usually the first step that they need to take to get to the point where they need to lose weight and, you know, to get to the gym. But, you know, the women that I work with, they, they're, you can come from just about any background. I work with people who don't, who haven't exercised before in their life. I work with people who used to be athletes and they got off track and, and now they're, you know, they're not feeling so great about themselves. I work with women who, you know, they've had kids, you know, and my kids, kids are a big responsibility. They're a big, Time sucks, you know, and energy sucks. So, you know, and a lot of times they they have, you know, belly fat and want to get rid of. So, um, yeah, you don't have to, you know, get in shape first before you can come to my studio. In fact, I, I discourage it because whatever you're doing to to like put off what's necessary, which is taking a step and, and coming in, is is just further delaying the problem. You know, if you haven't gotten in shape now. By yourself, that's okay. But that's what we're here for. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think that. Well, you know, I've lost weight in the past, and I guess you know there there actually is a right way and a wrong way to to, to lose weight. And they think, well, I've lost weight before, and like I was on an Atkins diet or something, and boy, I mean, I lost five pounds in the first week, but it didn't work this time. Right. They think that it's going to it's a repeatable. It's going to be exactly the same. But obviously, over time, people's bodies change, their metabolism changes, and especially women, you know, pre uh, pregnancy, post pregnancy, you, your body is is different. And and sometimes that frustrates people or they think that something has changed dramatically that that they should expect the exact same results as when they went on that crazy diet when they were in college. Why isn't it working now? And, and so why why is that? Why? Why isn't it working now? Yeah, yeah. What you know? What is it that 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 past weight loss? The, the, the things that happened before that quick weight loss, and they're saying, "Why haven't I lost you know the the the, the big ten pounds, five pounds in this one week?" You know, they expect it to happen overnight when it may have happened overnight back when they were in college when they tried this, but it's not working like that now. 
Yeah, I mean, you said it. Like, people's bodies change. They respond differently. And, you know, I don't believe in, like, fad diets or potions or any kind of, like, magic pill type things that are going to give you that quick, quick result just to have you back where you are, you know, a week and a half later. Um, Really, it's about, like, again, it's that mindset piece of, what do you what do you really value and what can you do and who can you be to be that person that is gonna commit and reach their goals no matter what. So yeah, if you if you did some grapefruit diet back in college or whatever and you lost, you know, ten pounds in a week or something and you're like, Oh, well, I'll just do that again and I'll lose weight. Well, and it doesn't work, like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. It's, your body has changed, like, your circumstances change, your, your hormones change. Everything in your body is always constantly changing. And, you know, who you are then and who you are now is, is not the same person. But when you have a plan of consistent, proper exercise, of consistent, proper nutrition, and coupled with, the mindset, making sure that your your mind is in the right place so that you are being the person that's going to accomplish your goals, it doesn't matter, you know, because you're going to get there. And that's what I, I really am committed to showing women how to do. Yeah, and I think that's that's extremely important. And and you know the, the things that you get them obviously to to break from is those things that may have frustrated them or or given them reason to think that it's they're failing. You know, in the past from from other types of diets. Because one of the things I know that people complain about is, you know, I I want to lose weight, I want to get into shape, but I just don't have the time, or there's no way that I could do those you know two hour gym sessions to do this. And and I know one of the things that that you um are really good at in and it goes beyond just you know the physical mechanics but also the the i guess what would you call it the the, the chemical the the nutrition and the the way that your body works is the fact that you don't your body the, the weight loss happens when you're not working out and that's one of the things that really stuck out with with uh, what you talk about is is you know it's not about working out two hours thinking that the longer you work out that's when the the fat loss is occurring. But what's really happening is when you're not working out and being able to um, use the exercise that you did to to prolong that that fat burning or that weight loss. How how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, like you said, it is a really common misconception that. When you're doing a workout, no matter what kind of workout you're doing, you're, you're the, the weight loss is happening in that workout. But actually, when it's done right, you know, you are, you're burning, yeah, you're burning some calories during the workout, which is great. But the way that we structure our workout is that we want to prime the muscles. You want to prime your metabolism to keep working for hours or days after the workout. And you know, it's, when you're designing a workout, it's really about maximizing the rest of your day. So you can do that. You can do that in an hour. You can do that in 45 minutes, which is the length of our workout, 45 minutes to an hour, to make sure that your metabolism is burning at a high rate the rest of the day or the next, you know, the next two days. And then you couple that with the same, not the same, but like a, a really concrete nutrition plan. And your metabolism is just on fire, right? So it's not about it's not about necessarily you know working out for an hour, two hours, or, or three hours, even three times a day. Like yeah, that can that can work, but instead, wouldn't you rather work out for an hour and eat right, and then you know see your body transform? I would pick I pick the latter. I don't know about you. Yeah, well, I hey, I'm all for that. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and, and I think that's one of the, you know, I think that's one of the reasons that uh, people have success because it is something that is achievable. Right. And that's what it comes down to is, is that achievability that the, the program that you've put together for, for people is just that it's achievable. You know, all the promises in the world don't really mean anything unless it comes down to achievability. But what's really interesting to me, and I, I heard a, uh, a mother the other night, I was at a, a school function, uh, for my kids' school and there was a new gym that opened up 
near near us, and she was talking about, oh, I'm going to change gyms. I'm going to go from here to this other one because it was like something ridiculous, like $9 a month or something. It's only $9 a month, and, uh, you know, I can get it. And I'm like, wow, that is just absolutely r- remarkable that something as important and as valuable as the, your health is you put in the hands of – the, you know, you make the determining factor is how much is it? You think about how much people spend to get out of shape. You okay. think about that. We spend a ton of money in this country to get out of shape. The money yeah. that we spend on junk food and sugars and, so, and all that. And then when it comes time to get into shape, that's when you want to kind of look at your budget, right? Which is just a completely just ironic. The irony of that is, is, is incredible to me. And the one thing that I know that with, with uh, your studio, the distinction is between a gym. A gym is a place that you go that has exercise equipment and it's kind of a free for all, I guess, right? And you talked about, you know, whether people know or don't know how to use the equipment. You know, you can have all the, the, the wonderful technology and equipment there in the world if you don't know what to do or you don't uh, have a motivation to do it. Um, and what you've put together is a, 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 your studio is something that's far more intimate rather than, you know, go and, you know, make sure you wipe off the, the, the equipment when you're done kind of mentality. You go in there and it's, it, you really work with folks and they immerse and they, it's almost like they are getting specialized in something that's, that's really works for them that may be a little bit different than the next person. Um, and I guess that's the only way I can think about it is it's just a far more uh, intimate and personal experience than what people think of about just as just going to uh, the gym. How would you describe the, the atmosphere and the community really that you've built um, a, at your studio? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, we are different from a, a gym, um, mostly because of that intimacy factor. It is, you know, we're smaller. We don't have, like, equipment that you just come in and use when you want. Like, when you come in, you're coming in for the session, you know, time with the trainer. And that's, that's and, you know, the other people who might be in there as well. Um, but what really is is I think most powerful about what we what we do is that we've created a very select community of women who want have learned to put themselves first and who are committed to to their goals and to their outcomes and to just and I, I say it to taking their bodies back. That's why that's one of my favorite things that we talk about is taking your body back, you know, and what does that really mean, you know? And for me and for I think you know, 90 or majority of women who come into a studio, it's really about taking your life back, right? Because if you are out of shape, if you, if you can't, if you're hopping and puffing, you live in New York City, if you hop and puff and, and are going up and down the subway stairs and you can't hang out with your kids or you don't have the energy to go, you know, go out at night or you don't feel sexy in your, in your dress and you don't want to go hang out with your friends, you know, like that's not a life. That's not who you're meant to be. And I believe that everybody deserves to have the life that they want. And when you can take control of your body, which is, you know, it's a very doable thing to do, you know, you just got to commit to it, then you can you take back your entire life, you know, you all of a sudden, you have what do you mean for you to be, have the, the energy to, to go up and down the stairs and hang out with the kids and go out at night and, and you walk down the street and, and you feel like, you know, people, people are turning their head looking at you, you know, that's, that's what, what it's about, you know, and it's about being and stepping into that person who can, who can do that. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's why when you really boil it down to it, when, from what I've seen, the, the people that have come to you and, you know, the, the, the stories that I, I uh, see on your website, you know, the videos, it really is, you know, they come to you wanting to transform their body to look better, but it seems like what they really get is they're transforming their life. And and yeah. their their ability to enjoy their life and their ability to, to experience things that maybe their current body doesn't allow them to experience. And to me, that is a bargain at any price. And it really is a remarkable uh, transformation um, that occurs. Now, let me ask you, let's say that someone is not one of the lucky ladies that is in the Brooklyn, New York area and can visit the, the new Body Elite studio. Um, I know you've worked with some folks on a limited basis uh, um, virtually. 
uh, yes, to, yes. to work through that and have had um, great success with that. How does that work? Yeah, I do have a, a virtual coaching program that I, I work with people on. It is very limited because it is one-on-one. Um, but I do work with people who are serious and committed and, you know, they just can't make it to, to our class in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, that is a, an option as well that people have. Yeah, well, I think that's, you know, to, to be able to open that up because people don't have uh, an Asia Davis in every town. And so I, I, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be, so, so being able to do that is a, uh, is a fantastic option. How can, um, how can people find out more about uh, Asia Davis and uh, the new body elite studio? Uh, the best thing to do is to go to our website. It is www.newbodybootcampnyc.com. Again, newbodybootcampnyc.com. And from there, you can find out about our programs, check out people's stories, and uh, get in touch with us if you, you want to come in and take your body back. Well, the, 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 that's fantastic. And, and I, I encourage anybody, ch- check it out because it really is a, like I said, not just body transforming, but but life transforming and um, it's not just about the mechanics. It's not just about, hey, do a sit up. It's about changing the person, you know, becoming that person, that better person that is the one that's able to follow through and able to be that person that has the body that that uh, you want for all the reasons for whether it's for the, 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 the way you look, the way you feel, um, the the health that you have. It's just so, so incredibly important. And it's rare that you uh, find someone like uh, Asia that, that has knowledge in, in not just from the mechanics, but to the mindset to be able to help people make that transformation. So I, I definitely is, is why I consider you an influencer. And I'm, uh, want to thank you for, for coming on to the uh, show today and sharing that with folks. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. All right. Well, there you have it. Um, definitely check out newbodybootcampnyc.com. We'll have uh, that link on the uh, show post as well. And until next time on Influencers Radio, remember, you are the only real game changer. You've been listening to Influencers Radio. To get all past shows and updates on future shows, visit InfluencersRadio.com today. Or follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Influencers Radio.